வணக்கம் நமஸ்தே நமஸ்கார் வெல்கம் பேக் டு ஜல்பிரியா டுடே ஐம் கோயிங் டு ஜஸ்ட் கண்டினியூ ஆன் தி சேம் ரெண்டேவு क्वेश्चन வாட் வி ஹேட் ஸ்டார்டட் இன் தி லாஸ்ட் செஷன் இட் இஸ் தி சேம் क्वेश्चन இஃப் யூ ரிமெம்பர் வி ஹேட் டன் திஸ் क्वेश्चन விச் இஸ் ஐ ஜஸ்ட் ஷோ யூ பட் ஐ ஹேட் சால்வ்ட் இன் சச் a way that i can uh, plot everything on the answer sheet because not on the chart so today i'm going to shift to the chart but uh, before i shift i need to tell you a few things a few points to uh, take as precaution and uh, a few things to remember what all can i get on a paper chart so uh, i'm going to show you uh, the same solution which i finished on the last slide in the previous module so this was the last slide you can see that i have completed the full question on the paper uh, you can see i have uh, written the cts and all but if you look at the rendezvous position this is something which is not always possible on a paper now here i have shown you the position lat long it is because uh, this question can be solved also on the chart so that is the reason this lat long is given to you not because i could solve it exactly the uh, whole question in the paper no if you uh, honestly ask me in the paper when i uh, can do a problem i will be able to do only this much that means uh, the one hour vector triangle i'll be able to most probably i'll be able to do only this i will not be able to do the rest of the problem but doesn't matter even if when i do a one hour vector triangle on a answer sheet i will uh, still get because of the space constraints i will still get these two answers i can still get these two answers so that is why it is uh, always recommended that if possible you can finish off in the paper you can finish off in the paper now there are two cases if the final position like in this one it is only 3.3 hours it is not a quite a, a far distance also if it is 3.3 hours i will be able to draw the whole question on that uh, chart which is given to you in your exam but not always the question comes where your whole plotting can fit in your chart let us say this time came for 10 hours so then you will not be able to draw the 10 hours position uh, from this initial position no you will not be able to draw. so what do you do in that so that is the time i am going to use my answer sheet i will draw this diagram i will draw one hour vector i'll get the two answers and let us assume that it was 10 hours round the whole time i will have to use your plain sailing method of uh, finding out your d lat departure and distance and that is how you will find your final position so you will have to use your plain sailing triangle i am not uh, going into the scope of plain sailing triangle here i'm still sticking on to this question where i know the distance is not too big because it's only 3 approximately 3 hours so uh, and uh, since the problem i have all, we have already solved i have already solved it uh, it can be fit into the chart so i'm going to uh, change over to the chart and show you the full question so just as a, a reminder you may not be able to solve all the questions on the chart so it is recommended you can do on the answer sheet also the one hour vector triangle finish off getting cts and the rendezvous time but uh, a few suggestions and precautions you need to take when you draw on the paper so when you draw on the paper uh, please remember i need to draw the cardinal grid so i might need to draw the cardinal grid on my own vessel uh, at the place where i'm going to get my one hour uh, vector triangle and at your target also these are the three places i might have to draw the grid and if this grid is not drawn properly this is a mismatch then your answers also will not be correct okay so please be careful the grids have to be proper now for drawing the grid you have to use protractor and uh, i will recommend only this large protractor which is inbuilt in your uh, foot long set square because the resolution is good the angle measurement will be much better if you uh, ask me i will not recommend the one from your geometry box and not even this full circle one but let us say you don't have your set square the big set square 
then please go ahead and do with your normal geometry box perfectly. The only uh, problem is the angles are quite small because of the arc. Uh, so there's a high possibility you can do mistakes. So please be careful on this. Uh, before I go into the chart, I will just quickly show you uh, how we used to use the grid on a grid triangle problem on a second minute functions exam. Please remember we used to do the full uh, wind triangle problem on the answer sheet. We were not doing it on a graph sheet or uh, your chart. So if you look at this, there are two places where normally on a wind triangle, I draw the, draw the grid. So at alpha, you can see I can do two measurements here, the green color measurement and the blue, and then the maroon one. So these are the three measurements I used to do using the grid. I'll show you one more picture, just uh, as a recap. I used to draw a grid here. So green color vector and the blue vector and then the maroon vector. So this is how I used to do the uh, wind triangle. And uh, as I said, the more better the grid, the better the answers. Now let us go to the chart. Uh, since I told you this whole question can be done on the chart, I'm going to draw everything on the chart right now. So let, let us say that I didn't want to uh, do it on the paper. I want to do it on the chart. So I'm going to go. So I'm going to show you the first method. Let us see what is the first method. Uh, Exmouth pilot station is here. This is where uh, my own vessel was there. Target was given as a range and bearing from one of the boys, which is your East Channel Raken boy. So I'm showing you the star. So range and bearing was given. So I plot the target position. As usual, my first uh, step is to join the two lines. I call this rendezvous line. When I measure it, I get 137. 45 nautical miles, okay. What was first method? First method was discarding the current. That means I'm going to draw only CTS, CTS vector. Let me start always with the target. It's always preferable, but not necessary, but preferable. I run the target for 255 and six nautical miles. I measure it, arrive at Bravo. From Bravo, I take 12 knots, which was my engine speed and cut an arc on the rendezvous line from Bravo. I get Charlie. Join Charlie Bravo, and that is what is your course. So I found out 164 degree, 12, knot, uh, 12 nautical miles. That was uh, So I finished the uh, CTS-CTS triangle. With this, I can get two answers. Already I can get two answers. One is my course, and another one, I can find the relative speed, and I can find the rendezvous time also. I can do it here also. But let me go to the second method. I told you we have current, and since the current was same, that is why I discarded. But if a question has got two different currents on each vessel, I cannot discard, and I cannot do the first method. I'll have to go to the second method. So I'm going to show you the second method. Same thing. I'm running one hour vector on the target. I'll put one hour current on the target also. I will arrive at delta. Uh, just to uh, make you understand this problem, let us say after one hour, the target will be here at delta. The whole rendezvous question means that I should be also at delta after one hour. So that is what is the meaning of one hour vector. That means I should also be at delta which means the current for me also was exactly the same. So I've drawn you one more blue color line just to show you that my current is also same. There's no need for you to draw. That means I should also be at delta. Now, uh, I've told you two different methods in the last module. One is your counteracting method, and there was a second method which I can use in rendezvous questions. So I'm going to use the second method. That means for you to arrive at delta yourself, with the current, that means I should draw again a vector from Bravo. So I'm going to take again 12 nautical miles from Bravo. I'm going to cut an arc. I will still arrive at Charlie and join Charlie Bravo. That is, again, still the same 164. This is a small confusing part. Please watch the first, uh, uh, the previous uh, uh, session. You will understand why I can do this. I could have done this with a normal contracting method also. Answer will still come the same. But I have opted for the second method, which is more preferable when I do rendezvous. The whole idea is in one hour, 
your target also should be a delta and you should also be a delta to satisfy my one hour condition. That is what I have done. Okay. Let me go on the same second method because the current is there. But this time I'm going to draw the full triangle for the vessels, full triangle. So let me see what can I do. If you look at the target, you can see CTS for one hour, current for one hour. So if I join alpha delta, that is CMG and it is SMG for your target. And if you look at, let us say, let us look at my, my own vessel. Please remember, Charlie, uh, Charlie Bravo is my CTS. Delta Bravo is the current also for me. So that means if I join Charlie Delta, I get my CMG and SMG also. So I have I've completed that one hour triangle with current and everything. Okay, my aim was to go one step further. The first two answers I've already got. I found out my CTS. I found out what is my relative speed for one hour, which is Alpha Charlie. And uh, when I divide by the total, uh, uh, that is 45 divided by this Alpha Charlie, I get 3.3 hours, which I've shown you already in the previous module. Please watch that module. Now I'm going to look at how to find the rendezvous position. Okay. I'm going to run the CMG track because your vessel's position is always on the CMG track. I'm going to run for 3.3 hours. So let us do from the target. If you see, if I run 3.3 hours from the target, I will arrive at a position, but the same 3.3 hours, if I apply from my own vessel, which is X-ray, you will see that I will also still arrive at the same position. And this is what is your rendezvous position. So uh, you are actually, uh, your question is solved. Uh, all you have to do is find the lat long of rendezvous position, which I've already given you as answers. This is what is that position. And my problem is solved. And I can actually stop with this in your exam. But uh, I'm going to give you one more module where I'll be showing you a couple of more things how I can draw the full triangle for uh, target and full triangle for the own vessel. I'm going to just show you to make you understand what exactly I'm doing. I'm not going to achieve anything great. Uh, I'm going to just show you uh, one more option of drawing the triangles. Uh, right now, I'm done with this question. And uh, as far as the exam is concerned, you can stop it right here and you have all the answers. Okay. I'll uh, come back with uh, the last uh, session for this particular question in the uh, in the rendezvous question in a couple of days. Uh, please keep watching Jalprayag. Uh, until then, Namaste, Namaskar.